and TJ Dillashaw. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. champion of the world. Now his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vakes. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Aldo is 33, Dillashaw is 34. Aldo is one inch taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA. Introducing the challenger, TJ Dillashaw. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. Jose Aldo Jr. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, or be like a at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now to back your corner. guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Nice strike. 
Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Overhand is true. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Dillashaw. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Dillashaw. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend. But you can see him now start the game popping and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes and counting now have landed for TJ Dillashaw. Single power tie now. Real quick leg kick. And he connects with the punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. I'm ready. I'm ready. Round two here. Nice kick. Nice defense there, huge block. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Dillashaw gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh! Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He'll finish his fight. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Jab hurt him. That shot blocked by Dillashaw. And there comes the separation now. He's trying to kick the leg out. He loaded up there on that high kick. So we call on the fight stats here unofficially. 49 total strikes have now landed for TJ Dillashaw. And the connection rate pretty good. 55% to this point in the fight against Jose L. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, 
John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Dillashaw's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, he has certainly found the ring. Oh! Man. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Both fighters exchanging the Trouble now. They say the straight boots are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. He's got him hurt here. Both these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. What a round. as we showed you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good... Oh, yeah, using on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Big leg kick land. Many of these have landed with authority. 79 total strikes have landed for Jose Al. He hurt him. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions. And that's going to do it. That'll do it. He's done. He's done. What a fight. Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Here's Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 38 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, DJ Dillashaw. Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying. You're crying? <laughs> I mean, almost. A, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago. Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job in winning this belt.